you're having a wonderful day. My name is Chris Goff. I'm the author of My Journey to the uh, Fountain of Youth. Um, it's my personal journey. It's a book that's about my personal journey uh, where I looked to the internet to find tips and great techniques in order to look and feel as young as possible. Um, I'm almost 60 now, and so I felt that that was something that I needed to do. Uh, and so uh, what I did is I did about two years of research, and that's what's in the book. Um, today, what I'm going to focus on is how to grow your hair back. I don't have a great amount of hair, but I had no hair on the top of my head when I started my journey. I'm going to show you some, uh, some clips of that, or a slide that will show you uh, my progression on how I did grow my hair back, and you'll see that. Um, and there are basically four main techniques that I looked at that, that, that look like they work. One is the massage method, one is the derma roller method, one is the inversion method, and the other one are hair masks. And then I'm also going to talk about some other tips on the hair. Each one of these I'm going to pick each week. So this week, this video is going to go on the massage. I'm going to talk about the massage method. Next week I'll talk about the derma roller method and so on. Um, so that you'll get all that great content and then the video won't be so long. Um, so in sticking with the massage method, um, I just want to talk a little bit about what causes baldness in the first place. So that way you have an idea on how you can cure it. Um, so Dr. Henry Choi, who was a coroner uh, a few years back, uh, came up with a study, and here it is. And what he did with that study is he, he studied the cadavers of people who, all different people, men and women, and what and the study does include men and women, and, but he studied the cadavers and found that, uh, that the, the cadavers that had, uh, that had no hair, or that were bald, had this sebum and calcification sludge that was between their scalp and their skull. And the other people who had full heads of hair did not have that. So his conclusion was, you know, 100% of the time if you have it, you're bald, and if, if you don't have it, you have hair, that that must be the reason why you don't grow hair. And if you think about it, you know, blood brings nourishment to our cells, and if the blood can't get up to the hair because of that calcification and, uh, and hair oil, sebum sludge is up there, then you know, you're not going to be able to get nutrients to the hair, and the hair is going to die and not grow. It's just like if you've had a plot of grass, and you uh, put a thin layer of cement over that layer of grass. Some of the hair may come through, but it starts to die. And if you put another layer on there, less, hair, less uh, grass will come through, and you put another layer, probably none of the grass is going to come through. And that kind of, kind of is the same way it works with uh, your hair in your head. If you, start, if you cut off the blood supply to the hair, then you're not going to be able to grow your hair. So the massage method um, he came up with, and uh, all this, is, there's a great website that I found all this on called perfecthairhealth.com. Uh, the guy's name is Rob. I don't know his last name. I don't really know Rob. Um, he does have a book, but he also has um, a, a, a newsletter that you can sign up for, and a little class to help teach you how to grow your hair back. Um, I did, in fact, buy his book. I found it fascinating. There's a lot of great stuff in it. It's definitely worth the money. Because uh, he goes into other things other than just hair. He talks about nutrition and everything else. It's just fascinating. So um, if you do want to buy it, it's a great book. I don't get a commission on it. Um, like I said, I don't even know Rob. But, um, but I, I highly recommend it um, because it just uh, was able to help me get my hair back. Um, but what he talks about there, and Henry Troy did too, is that you needed to do some massages to the scalp to break up that calcification and get it back into where it belongs, into the bone. And you wonder why that happens. Well, we, you get calcification everywhere, but you know if you're moving your bones and your muscles, you have muscles on most of the part of your body. When you move it, it breaks that calcification up and it gets dissolved. On top of your scalp, though, there's not a whole lot of, um, of muscles so that you don't have that movement, and it's very hard to get that calcification to dissolve. So the reason, the way to do it is you, these massages will, will help. So <clears throat> these massages are not gentle, fun easy massages. I mean, these massages are, you really have to beat up the head. You really have to warm it up. You know, you really have to warm it up and move it around. And then you really have to pinch the hair, the scalp, together. And then, you're doing that for a while, and then you're pushing in like this. You're doing that. And then you're pulling, you're stretching the skin. And you're doing that all over your scalp, and you're doing it for 20 minutes. And then you're going to do that 
uh, once in the morning and once at night. And what that's going to do is it's going to break up the calcium. In the, and it's also, you're probably going to see crud come out of your skull, your, your, uh, your scalp. Um, that's just the sebum oil coming out, um, the excess hair oil. Uh, <clears throat> that's nothing to worry about. You may see some of your hair go away. In the beginning, mine did, um, just because the, some of the hair was weak and dying, and doing the, the, the aggressive massages just killed that hair off. Um, but the hair comes back after that. So that's something that you want to do, uh, <clears throat> I would say, every day, uh, two times a day. Um, I would suggest that you go and look at Rob's uh, website, perfectcarehealth.com. I think that you'll appreciate it. And if you keep it up, you'll, you'll see. So the next slide I'm going to show you is, uh, is my journey uh, on this method. So looking at the graph here, you can see that um, from day one, I was just about completely bald at the top of my head. Um, eight months later of using the technique, uh, I had a little bit more hair growth. Uh, after one year, uh, you can see that there's more there on the top of my head. And after one and a half years, you can definitely see that the hair has uh, come back and is growing in. I still have hair in the top of my head, front of my head to grow in, but that's coming in slowly. Okay, so I think that's it. Uh, I want to thank you once again um, for, for joining me. Again, you know, if you want to get these great videos to help you look and feel as young as you possibly can, uh, make sure that you uh, hit the subscribe button and uh, hit the notification button too, and that way you'll keep up with all this great content that's going to be coming out uh, every week. Thanks a lot again. All right, thanks so much. If you like this video, please click on the thumbs up button, and also subscribe and hit the notification button so that you can be notified of every great video that's coming out weekly. And uh, so you won't miss anything about how to look young and great. Thank you.